This is the Justice and Kindness Daily Scripture Reading for May 3rd, New American Standard Version. Go to glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness to support this effort. Numbers chapter 10. Then the Lord spoke further to Moses, saying, Make yourself two trumpets of silver, of hammered work you shall make them, and you shall use them for summoning the congregation and for having the camps set out. When both are blown, all the congregation shall gather themselves to you at the doorway of the tent of meeting. Yet if only one is blown, then the leaders, the heads of the divisions of Israel, shall assemble before you. But when you blow an alarm, the camps that are pitched on the east side shall set out. When you blow an alarm the second time, the camps that are pitched on the south side shall set out. An alarm is to be blown for them to set out. When convening the assembly, however, you shall blow without sounding an alarm. The priestly sons of Aaron, moreover, shall blow the trumpets, and this shall be for you a perpetual statute throughout your generations. When you go to war in your land against the adversary who attacks you, then you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets, that you may be remembered before the Lord your God and be saved from your enemies. Also, in the day of your gladness, and in your appointed feasts, and on the first days of your months, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings, and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, and they shall be as a reminder of you before your God. I am the Lord your God. Now in the second year, in the second month, on the twentieth of the month, The cloud was lifted from over the tabernacle of the testimony, and the sons of Israel set out on their journeys from the wilderness of Sinai. Then the cloud settled down in the wilderness of Paran. So they moved out for the first time according to the commandment of the Lord through Moses. The standard of the camp of the sons of Judah, according to their armies, set out first, with Nation the son of Amminadab over its army, and Nathanael the son of Zuar, over the tribal army of the sons of Issachar, and Eliab, the son of Helon, over the tribal army of the sons of Zebulun. Then the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari, who were carrying the tabernacle, set out. Next, the standard of the camp of Reuben, according to their armies, set out with Elizur, the son of Sheduer, over its army, and Shalumiel, the son of Zurashaddai, over the tribal army of the sons of Simeon, and Eliasaph, the son of Duel, over the tribal army of the sons of Gad. Then the Kohathites set out, carrying the holy objects, and the tabernacle was set up before their arrival. Next, the standard of the camp of the sons of Ephraim, according to their armies, was set out, with Elishama, the son of Amihud, over its army, and Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur, over the tribal army of the sons of Manasseh, and Abidan, the son of Gideonai, over the tribal army of the sons of Benjamin. Then the standard of the camp of the sons of Dan, according to their armies, which formed the rear guard for all the camps, set out, with Ahiezer, the son of Amishadai, over its army, and Pagiel, the son of Okran, over the tribal army of the sons of Asher, and Ahira the son of Enan, over the tribal army of the sons of Naphtali. This was the order of the march of the sons of Israel by their armies as they set out. Then Moses said to Hobab the son of Ruel the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, We are setting out to the place of which the Lord said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will do you good. For the Lord has promised good concerning Israel. But he said to him, I will not come, but rather will go to my own land and relatives. Then he said, Please do not leave us inasmuch as you know where we should camp in the wilderness, and you will be as eyes for us. So it will be, if you go with us, that whatever good the Lord does for us, we will do for you. Thus they set out from the mount of the Lord three days' journey, with the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord journeying in front of them for the three days to seek out a resting place for them. 
The cloud of the Lord was over them by day when they set out from the camp. Then it came about when the ark set out that Moses said, Rise up, O Lord, and let our enemies be scattered, and let those who hate you flee before you. When it came to rest, he said, Return, O Lord, to the myriad thousands of Israel. Psalm 46 For the choir director, a psalm of the sons of Korah said to Alamoth, a song. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change and though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at its swelling pride. Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling places of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She will not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations made an uproar. The kingdoms tottered. He raised his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord, who has wrought desolations in the earth. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two. He burns the chariots with fire. Cease striving and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Selah. Psalm 47 For the choir director, a psalm of the sons of Korah. O clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with the voice of joy. For the Lord most high is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves, Selah. God has ascended with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our God, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with a skillful psalm. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people have assembled themselves as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Psalm 47 For the choir director, a psalm of the sons of Korah. O clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with the voice of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves, Selah. God has ascended with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our king, sing praises. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing praises with a skillful psalm. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. The princes of the people have assembled themselves as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Song of Songs, Chapter 8 Oh, that you were like a brother to me who nursed at my mother's breasts. If I found you outdoors, I would kiss you. No one would despise me either. I would lead you and bring you into the house of my mother who used to instruct me. I would give you spiced wine to drink from the juice of my pomegranates. Let his left hand be under my head and his right hand embrace me. I want you to answer, O daughters of Jerusalem. Do not arouse or waken my love until she pleases. Who is this coming up from the wilderness, leaning on her beloved? Beneath the apple tree I awakened you. There your mother was in labor with you. 
There she was in labor and gave you birth. Put me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is as strong as death. Jealousy is as severe as Sheol. Its flashes are flashes of fire, the very flame of the Lord. Many waters cannot quench love, nor will rivers overflow it. If a man were to give all the riches of his house for love, it would be utterly despised. We have a little sister, and she has no breasts. What shall we do for our sister on the day when she is spoken for? If she is a wall, we will build on her a battlement of silver. But if she is a door, we will barricade her with planks of cedar. I was a wall, and my breasts were like towers. Then I became in his eyes as one who finds peace. Solomon had a vineyard at Baal Haman. He entrusted the vineyard to caretakers. Each one was to bring a thousand shekels of silver for its fruit. My very own vineyard is at my disposal. The thousand shekels are for you, Solomon, and two hundred are for those who take care of its fruit. O you who sit in the gardens, my companions are listening for your voice. Let me hear it. Hurry, my beloved, and be like a gazelle or a young stag on the mountains of spices. Hebrews chapter 8 Now the main point in what has been said is this. We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister in the sanctuary and in the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched, not man. For every high priest is appointed to offer both gifts and sacrifices. So it is necessary that this high priest also have something to offer. Now, if he were on earth, he would not be a priest at all, since there are those who offer the gifts according to the law, who serve a copy and shadow of the heavenly things, just as Moses was warned by God when he was about to erect the tabernacle. For see, he says, that you make all things according to the pattern which was shown you on the mountain. But now he has obtained a more excellent ministry, by as much as he is also the mediator of a better covenant, which has been enacted on better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, there would have been no occasion sought for a second. For finding fault with them, he says, Behold, days are coming, says the Lord, when I will effect a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah not like the covenant which I made with their fathers on the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. For they did not continue in my covenant, and I did not care for them, says the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds, and I will write them on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people." And they shall not teach everyone his fellow citizen and everyone his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all will know me, from the least to the greatest of them. For I will be merciful to their iniquities, and I will remember their sins no more. When he said a new covenant, he has made the first obsolete. But whatever is becoming obsolete and growing old is ready to disappear. The Justice and Kindness Daily Reading and Daily Devotional are a service to all those who seek to know God more fully and to have their mind renewed for Christ's sake. To help us continue this effort, please like and subscribe, and please consider a one-time or monthly gift. Go to glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness to support this effort. That's glow.fm forward slash justice and kindness, all one word.